Chateau Palmer is a winery located um, in Bordeaux, left bank, Medoc, and it's in the south of the Medoc. So Chateau Palmer is a classified growth of the, of the appellation of Margot. The difference between the south and the north of the Medoc, south where Margot is located, is mainly a question of a subtle difference in the, in the composition of the soils, having a little more clay mixed with the gravels and sands when you go for the north. Probably the most poorer in terms of uh, soil, and that's why you have a difference in the characters of the wines. Out of this narrow band of land, immediately after on the west side, you find sand, pure sand, that are planted with pine trees because it's too poor to grow anything. The wines of Margot are often described as feminine, what is to me not a very good uh, qualification, but it's definitely a wine that is because of the poor soils where it grows. Wines that are very delicate, very elegant, probably more feminine in that sense than the northern part of the Medoc, where the wines are a little more muscular, have uh, bigger tannins in, in their expression, not, not in the content of the wines, but in the expression of the wine. So in every vintage, the proportion of the different varieties can vary, depending on uh, uh, the result that we got uh, from the particular weather conditions of the vintage. And we can have a little more Merlot in the final blend or a little more Cabernet, depending on the, uh, what nature has produced. The wines of Chateau Palmer reflect the Margot style, but because of the high proportion of Merlot, they also express a lot of charm, seduction, that comes from uh, the character of the Merlot wines. The lots of Merlot that we vinificate takes quite a, a, a little time to express their full character. They need in particular some uh, long barrel aging and even some aging in bottle to show this full volume and flesh that we expect to have from the Merlot wines. Blended with the Cabernet, they manage to express beautifully the Margot style. And we grow also a third variety, the Petit Verdot, that add uh, a little backbone, a little more backbone to the final blend of our wines.